dum 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 Welcome to a brand new season of Heavy Petting, Know Your Breed. As the name suggests, each week we will be introducing you to a particular breed and telling you about all the do's and the don'ts of that breed. Well, we're going to be starting off with Labradors and in case you're wondering where Seema Ramani is, she's taken a short break. So I'm Keith Sequera, welcome to the show. Today, it's this guy here. <laughs> The sweetest thing about a Labrador is that they seem to have a constant smile etched across their face, disarming and friendly. Labradors originally came from Newfoundland in Canada. Their webbed toes and straight, powerful, otter-like tail make them excellent swimmers. In fact, this is why they were initially used to help fishermen in the Newfoundland coast. Their strong olfactory sense also makes labs the most preferred choice for police work including bomb, contraband and illegal drug detection and search and rescue operations. Earlier labs were bred as hunting dogs to use their motivation and powerful jaws to bring back the prey to its hunter. And even though most of these dogs are house pets today and do not hunt, they are just as driven when chasing a ball or fetching a stick. So while labs can be good playmates, they also have a weakness to deal with, their oral fixation. No pun intended. Simply put, labs have a strong desire to carry things in their mouth or then chew objects. So the best way to deal with an orally fixated lab is to train him well, because after all, they are one of the friendliest and happiest dogs to have around. Well, I've been spending some time with this breed now, that's the Labradors, and let me tell you this, they are the most friendly and the most warm breed you can ever come across. Well, that's the thing about Labradors. They are so affectionate that as soon as you meet them, they want to come and play with you. You want to go and hug them. Instant chemistry and sparks. And talking about sparks and chemistry, well, next is uh, Ankesh and his dog, Woofy. Let's see how the sparks fly there. So this is Woofy. Labs are very affectionate. She's the girl of the house. The first time when we went to pick up Woofy, she was just like all over us, you know, so we were like, you know, she's the dog for us. Since she's the girl, she gets most of, she's allowed to do anything she basically wants. We have a Labrador, uh, Golden Retriever, his name is Tosh. Who's a good little boy, so he said this naughty little girl will be a good addition for him. each other frankly I mean uh, there's not been one time where they have been apart but uh, if we take Woofy and put her in the other room Tosh will bring the house down and if we put Tosh in another room and Woofy is outside she will bring the house down so they're kind of inseparable Woofy, if she was a human being, she would probably be the CEO of some multinational organization, okay? I mean, she's very smart. Uh, you can't pull a fast one on her. She knows exactly what's happening. <laughs> Woofy 
this is how the play every day. If anybody comes to the house, she would be like she knows them forever. So she's very, she loves everybody who comes to the house. She'll forget us. A very friendly watchdog. Let me put it that way. So yeah. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news in your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.